guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about dealing with insecurities, dealing with lies, dealing with self-esteem things, confidence, all of those things and if I were to speak on this like for a message I would title this repeating truth so that's why that is up there but anyways that's what we're going to talk about today it's going to be a little Jesus talking video so let's get on to this video So I have three simple steps to help you with these things, but they are going to take some time. So I'm just going to name the steps and just talk about them a little bit. Step number one is to identify when you start thinking or saying the insecurity or the lie. I don't know if you've ever been around those girls that always talk about how ugly they are <laughs> or just anything about things that they don't like about themselves. And those girls annoy me because they obviously have an insecurity or a lie that they are believing and they aren't dealing with. That is the very first step is to identify when you say those things and you can catch yourself saying those things to other people or even taking that a step further and catching yourself when you start to think those things too. That is the very first step. The second step is to find the root of that lie slash insecurity. And this definitely takes some soul searching and definitely some time in God's presence, just really figuring out where you started to believe that lie. For me, one of the biggest lies that I believed was that no one actually cared about me. Like, they just cared about what I did for them. They just cared about, I don't know, Hannah's always there just doing her thing. And they didn't actually care about who I was as a person. And as I did some soul searching after I identified that, I believe that lie. After I did some soul searching, I realized that that lie came from when I was in high school and just some friends decided to cut me off and I really thought they were real friends and they ended up not being real friends. That's what made me think that people actually don't care about who I am as a person but they just care about what I do or all of those types of things. So it is very important to take the time to identify the root of your lie so that you can figure out how to deal with it. The last step is to combat that lie with the truth and there's many different ways to do this and the first thing that you can do is obviously read your word, read the scriptures and there's so much truth in there about God and about us. So I'll just give you a few examples. Psalms 139 14 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. We aren't made by accident. We are made perfectly in God's image, which is another one in Genesis. My favorite Bible verse is Zephaniah 317 because it says, well, in different versions it says it differently, but the version that I like, I don't know what version it is, it says, he sings with joy because of who you are, meaning God, which I think is an amazing picture of how God feels about us and how we aren't mistakes, we aren't screw-ups, we aren't alone, we aren't not meant to be on this planet. God is singing with joy because of who we are, even right now, in our mess. But He not only sees us in our mess, He sees the potential and who we're meant to be. Another one that I'm going to talk about is Jeremiah 1.5. It says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. And that just tells me that God prepared for us to be here. He has a plan for us to be here. And we are perfectly made in his image, just like I said earlier. So those are just a few verses, but there's a ton that you can use to combat those lies. When you think of a lie, when you accidentally say a lie about yourself, what you can do is first catch yourself and second, replace that with the truth. So if you believe that you're ugly, for example, then you can replace that with the truth that you are fearfully and wonderfully made 
perfectly in God's image. That's just an example. So that is the first way you can combat the lies with the truth. The second way that you can do that is just surrounding yourself by encouraging friends that can help you. One of the things that I try to do for my friends is catch them when they say those lies because I know that they don't need to be believing those things about themselves. So I try to do that as a friend in hopes that they would do the same for me. So that is something that you could do with one of your best friends. The last thing that you can do to combat the lies with the truth is just to make sure that the things that you're feeding your soul are encouraging to you. So one of the things that I tell people that I mentor and that type of thing is if they are dealing with a lie or an insecurity that they need to be aware of what they listen to and what they watch because those things can feed into that lie and they don't even realize it. Like for example, I used to watch this YouTuber and she used to talk about herself so negatively and I realized that as I continue to watch her videos that I would begin to do that in my daily life. I ended up stopping watching her just for that reason because I didn't want that to be something that I started doing. So the same thing goes for you in your journey to combat the lies with the truth. So make sure you're listening to encouraging music, things that are going to uplift your soul, and <laughs> make sure you're not watching negative things, those type of things. All of those things can help you when you are fighting lies. Now, don't think that this can happen overnight. It is definitely a daily journey and something that you're going to have to choose every morning when you wake up that this is something you want to overcome and something that you don't want to deal with anymore. So it has to be something you repeat. And that's why I put repeating the truth because you have to continually feed the truth in your mind so that it will replace the lie that you've been in the habit of believing. So it takes time, but once you get over it, then you feel so free and so much lighter and it's definitely worth the process. So I encourage you, if you have an insecurity, if you have self-esteem issues, like a low self-esteem, stuff like that, I really encourage you to take the time, take the time, it's going to take a while, to go through these steps so that you can begin your journey to being more free and just living a life with abundance like Jesus meant for us to. That is the end of this video. <laughs> I hope you enjoy these Jesus talking videos and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other Jesus talking videos you want me to do for you because I would love to do those for you. So that is all I have for you guys. I will see you next Wednesday. Bye guys! So let's get on right on in. So let's get on red and <laughs> for me one a <laughs> so I ended up stop watching I ended up stop stopping <laughs>